Blessings, guys. Good evening. Um, today I'm going to take a very old, um, I guess, recipe. I don't know if it's a recipe more than a, uh, a thing that my mom showed me when I was young. And I'm incorporating, kind of make it into a new type of curse. So it's a curse. This is to get rid of somebody from a property at the same time curse them. So when I was very young, my mother always said, my grandmother, and this is an old thing, that if you had a pesky neighbor that you did not like, you would take an onion and you toss it under their, their home and you leave it there and there are to move. Well, nowadays, a lot of homes are not lifted off the ground. So I still took the, the onion and I'm using purple because for me, to me, purple is more dominating or it's a red onion, but it looks purple to me. I always say it's purple onion, although people say it's red onion, it's purple to me. So I'm gonna be using that. I have taken the onion, I've taken off the top and I've hollowed out the center. So it's gonna be that madness, but at the same time, I'm gonna be reincorporating, reincorporating it to suit what I need to do. So I hollowed it out. My client was able to send me several things which I have offline here. What I will be showing you, that's gonna be going into the onion. You can put dirt in there, you can put rocks from the property um pictures and which i already have that printed out where this is going to go work right now what i'm going to be putting in the onion is their name and their address because we want to cause a lot of havoc so let's get this started on a piece of paper we've written that down addition what we want to happen and on a separate piece of paper we wrote down the address now we're going to go ahead and put some curse of a property oil and this stuff again it is available at the shop the same oil i'm not trying to touch it um, i will be showing you stuff I know some of you are saying that you need to see everything. Well, I'm sorry. This is for my client. You don't need to see everything. I know you want to see everything. And I'll show you as much as I can. And when I can show you everything, I will. But right now, I cannot because I have a lot of private information here that my client would not appreciate you seeing. So maybe you can find someone else that will show you everything. I can't. I just can't because it's um, the client confidentiality that I must keep. And I hold that very, you know, highest respect for them. So into this paper here, I'm going to be putting some um, curse powder because we're cursing them right in there. We're going to be using trementil. So trementil is, a, is an herb that are a root. And I spoke, spoke about it before. It is used in cursing. I'll put them in the, in the petition and into the onion as well. So this is what I've done. See that there, it's in there. Okay, now in the bottom of the onion, I'm gonna take my black salt. Now remember, this black salt is, don't get it confused with the black, which is protection salt. That's for protection. This here is for cursing, for banishing, for removing negative toxic relationships. What we're doing here is we're actually causing a friction from these people living in this property. We want them gone. So in the bottom of the onion, I'm going to be placing some of this salt. This black salt, it's been prepared. It's not just salt, it's got other stuff in it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and fold this paper up. And I'm gonna place it right in there and I will show you again. So it's the salt, trimental, the salt, this, the cursed powder into the names. Now again, I'm gonna put some more of the salt in between these people and their property address. So it's a very effective, simple, but very effective type of curse here. We wanna remove someone from a situation, we wanna get them out of there. So we're, you, we're doing this. It's very, um, it's very effective if done correctly, all right? <clears throat> now, make sure I have everything, okay. We're gonna be putting now the property on top of the salt. So now there's a barrier between them, right? So now this is what it looks like. So at no time is are there names and petition touching the property because we're putting a barrier between them. I'm going to now put some more of this cursed powder on the top. You could also put, if you want to curse the person, if you just want them to move, you could put some um, um, fuck off dust. We have that available at the shop. Um, You can use that. So cats just messing around. Okay, so we have our intention here. We have our onion here. 
as I work this onion, guys, let's put it, go ahead and put the top. I'm going to be lighting the candle. You're going to need six tea light candles to place around. You're going to need one black taper candle where I have actually uh, inscribed the address and the people's names. And I have put the um, curse of a property oil on it. And I'm going to roll it around in the curse powder. Let's say you just want to get rid of them, leave your home or leave the property next to you. You could put, like I said, fuck off dust. Um, what is the other one y'all like to use? Hot foot powder. Although I recommend mine more because I think it's more a lot stronger. But if you like yours, then by all means use yours. So it's on there. Now, what am I going to do? I'm going to pin it down with six needles. These ones are here. Now, see, this was blue because I couldn't find black. And so then I colored it black with permanent marker. So let's stab it together to make sure that it sticks the top to the bottom. Six of them, guys. One. Oh, I just dropped him to the floor. I'll color this black right now. Six. So it's completely closed up the onion again. You see that? Now, I'm going to light the six candles around. All the way around. This one's going to be standing on, an, on a, a different um, little candle holder. Oh my goodness. And I'll do that now. So I can show you the results. And I'll put the dust right now when the camera goes off. This is what you're gonna see with your six candles around. Once this is burned down and this has burned down, you will take this onion and you're gonna take it to a desolate place and throw it, put it under a tree that's alone. You can bury it in a graveyard. You can throw it into running a uh, running creek. There's different things you can do. I know a lot of you cannot go through graveyards. I know a lot of you do not live near creeks. I know a lot of you don't, can't go far away to places. So if you can't, if you can, I'm sorry, if you can't do that, after you've worked this, you take it, you're gonna put it in a black bag and on day the day of the garbage day, on that day, you're gonna take it outside so it can be taken with the garbage. All right, guys, if you don't, um, understand what I'm saying just pause and rewind okay um, I hope you've enjoyed this video this is to get rid of somebody but at the same time we're cursing this person like really badly we have other things going on here other than just the onion it's a very old tradition of throwing the onion under the person's home that you want to leave but we've incorporated and made it our very own so I hope you've enjoyed this on this little red onion here to get rid of someone, a pesky neighbor, a troublesome person. You could do this also with uh, someone at work. Okay, guys? So I hope you enjoyed the video. Many blessings. If you need to contact me, please do. I see a lot of people putting their information on there, other spellcasters. And I know that Baba, whoever um, has been taking money from people, an African man's been taking money from people, and other people are posting on there. If you see anybody like that posting, please make me aware so I can go in there and actually block them or remove them. Um, they're stealing from people. So, guys, please, if you're going to hire me or anyone else, do your research. Know where they're coming from. Are they just going and, and kind of doing skirt telling people and putting their information on there? My information is play as day at the description. It's Midnight Witch, W I C H 89 at gmail.com. Enchanted Bell Witch is my shop, our shop. So if you don't see that, then it's not us. Please be careful, guys, out there. Many blessings and happy witching.